Hey, what's up, Hot Garbage Squad? It's the Young Ash here. She has grown so much. Look at her. She's such a big cat now. Like, look at her. She is gigantic. Well, not really, but I think she's about, I don't know, 10, 10 weeks old now or something like that. I forget, but she's growing up pretty fast from the first video that we saw her. So in today's video, I want to show you my new and improved Libli, and it's not improved that much, it's only improved by artifacts. So before you saw my Libli, it looked something like, mm, where is he right here, like this, but minus 200 attack, except now I have, what is, what is this total? 878 plus 3312. I'm almost 4.2k attack. Oh, that would've been such a good meme. 4 point, I'm 4190. I'm literally 10 attack off from having a great meme. Is there any way for me to gain 10% attack here? Or, or 10 flat attack? No, it is maxed out, okay. Uh, I'm also maxed out here, not possible. Uh, I can get two here, not possible. Uh, and I'm uh, 27 plus 29, so I can't get anything. I don't have a gem or anything to get 10 more flat attack to make this a great fantastic meme. Well, that kind of sucks, okay? I can't get that $4,200 meme, okay, cool. Anyways, so my artifacts. So my artifacts here, I only wanted the attack main because if anything else, it doesn't scale with Libli. So I had to get the attack main here, right? So, unfortunately, I didn't have many artifacts that were dark with attack main that had damage dealt on a monster extra. So, the dark damage extra, we'll see how much more damage we do compared to other units here. And then we also have this. This one, I got 4% bomb damage. Like, I literally have nothing else that is attack main plus bomb damage. Ideally, what I would like is, let's just say I change the life drain and it becomes a, where is it? attack increasing effect because if it's attack increasing effect i'll have it have the attack buff and then do more damage but i i don't right now so it's legally 100 percent could be better and we'll go ahead and test it on some really thick teams okay so i bring in the tiana which is 170 speed bonus and then i bring in this megan i took a rune off to speed tune it because i, I just didn't want to fix it so i just took a rune off so now it's speed tuned right and then my sierra same thing here, I just took a rune off and I replaced it here, now it's speed tune. Before it was speed slot too, so I'm not missing out on that much. <laughs> and I really don't care about the damage anyways, because all I care about is Sierra. I'm sorry, all I care about is Lili's damage. Like, I'm not trying to showcase the damage on the other team. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change Sierra lead to Mega lead. So I have the attack buff, or sorry, the attack leader skill. So that's a mistake here, so that's what I've done. And that's why I'm not using the step too, because I want the attack buff here. Okay, tons of damage. Okay, so I miss a bomb on this guy right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna double bomb because I want to actually see the damage here. I'll put on one X here. And how much damage will my Libli do? And 35 I saw 35k here. And it wasn't enough to kill him. Mmm yeah. 35. 5k and not enough to kill him. That's kind of beefy. That is very beefy. How much does his first skill do? Five, was it 5k? No crit though, because why would I crit that anyways, right? Um, okay. And all these additional turns, pretty good, but I don't, it's not a, it's not a Sierra showcase here. I'm trying to make this a Libli showcase. Okay. Well, this was a, I think this is a fail. This was kind of like a fail, right? This is kind of fail. I'm going to quit out here. This time, I'm going to do attack buff. Or attack leader skill, not attack buff. We saw 35k on the fire unit, the Rakan and the Anubis. And then, I don't believe I... Like, I have a light damage 2%, I believe, if I recall correctly. So I should do a little bit more damage on the gene here. Okay, let's see how much damage we do on the gene. Okay, have resistance, or like whatever. How much damage do we do? Um, I just missed it. Oh god, I just missed everything. It just it just happened. Like, it's, it's too fast. I had to I had to slow it down when I'm editing. Okay, well, we we didn't kill anything. Like it, it, this is why I don't use bomb cards. Even with attack leader skill, I didn't I didn't kill anything. It's not literally just bad. Like I got four percent attack lead. Like I, I like I'm, I'm like hoping that 
Hey, I get, I have, I have, I have again. Whoa, it's like hey, revenging. I got it all back. Oh, okay. But then I need to detonate still. So, how much will I do with no, no, like no attack buff here? Okay. All provoked again and cleanse. Okay, now I have one bomb. I have one bomb on this guy right here. <laughs> okay, I, how much damage will I do? If I'm proc, if I'm proc, put one next, one proc. Nope. Okay. He's not gonna take a turn yet. Like I, there's no, I already lost this. I lost this right here. Oh my god. I just want, I just want how much damage this does. Like seriously, how much damage will this? Okay, oh, perfect. I'm gonna detonate. This is this is the lead bleed bomb. No attack buff. Okay, no attack buff. Lead bleed bomb. 25k. So the so the attack buff was about 10k worth of damage there. And we quit out because I can't win this. Boop, I'm dead. Battle number three. I don't know if you heard all that noise in the background because Ash was playing in the living room and she had like her little bell toy and it was going crazy. So I'd like pause the video. Okay, this is gonna be very important. I have darkness, 9% more damage. But how much will I do against this ragdoll? Like in RTA or sorry, in arena, Dark and light monsters are like super popular for you to bomb or even water monsters. So having that artifact is gonna be very crucial. But let's see how much this does. I'm like super focused, let me see. 30, 36K with attack leader skill, but Ragdoll takes less damage. But Ragdoll does take less damage. So it's not like a, it's not like, like a, a true test. You know what I'm gonna do here instead? I am gonna go and hit my own arena defense because I got a I got this guy right here. Like I got this passive here. It decreased the incoming damage by 35%. I don't know if that works on bombs, but if it I mean this is gonna die anyways. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put another water I'm gonna put like another leader skill here just to test out the lead blade. Like I don't want the reduced damage from the bombs. I want to like see the real damage from 9% here. So ideally, this artifact had water damage. That would be like the best case scenario. But unfortunately, I, I don't. Oh, it just it's kind of worked out the way it worked out. You know what I mean? So let's see how much damage I do on my own Miho. Like there's no way the Miho lives unless I miss the bomb. If I miss the bomb, I quit out. Good. But this is like a damage test. It's like not trying to see. Okay, it worked. Okay. I'll drop a bomb here just for funsies. But like I said, I don't care about the CR damage, it's all about the Libli. Like the Libli showcase only. How much damage do I do? 9% additional attack and leader skill. 38k. 38k. Okay, well, so what if I did this? Does, does the 9% damage on dark not make that much of a difference then? Is that is that what I'm getting at here? Maybe, maybe. But, you know, I'm not really impressed. It's not like 40k. And my Libby's not even on will. You know what I mean? It's on like focus and like Beto. So I'm expecting a lot of damage. But it's not a lot of damage. Okay, I'm not even a double bomb. Because I want to see just damage. How much damage do I do on the Miho? 35k. So about, wait, about 4,000 damage difference with the leader skill. And the artifact, I, I don't even know how much. My math is hard, but the leader skill made a big difference. However, the, I think I just need more bomb damage on the artifact, and I need attack increasing effect. Like that's probably the most important part was to get the attack increasing effect on the on the uh, lead blade. This wouldn't be a test without some siege action here. So we got the dark unit here. This is not four tower, by the way. So we have a nat four here. Sure. We have a dark unit here for the Libli bomb damage for this artifact here, right here, right? We're bringing the Triana just so that Triana can tank these two fire units. I'm not trying to do a 1v3 here. I'm just trying to use this guy. I'm trying to use him to detonate the bomb. So, will it work? I hope so. It better work. I just hope the, the Niho doesn't target my Libli here because he has no will. So, okay, Verb goes first, okay. I feel like Verb should go last. Okay. I'm gonna drop this. Like, I have no attack buff, and that's perfectly fine with me because we already saw his damage with attack buff. But all we want to do is detonate shot. So who do I detonate this on? 
The Miho is gonna die. I don't. I, he's gonna die regardless. The Verd, I'm gonna do it on the Verd because he can turn cycle. Okay, detonate. 11k plus 26k. That's a that's quick math here. That's about that's a that's quick math. That's about like 35k. That's about how much damage he does with the thing. Okay, okay, okay. But I mean, obviously Sierra would have done a lot more work there. Obviously. Obviously, Sierra did much more work. 26k, no attack buff, plus the bomb damage, right? The dark, or sorry, the dark damage, the dark damage. Uh, but I didn't get to see how much damage the difference was on the bird because of the artifact difference versus and the damage on to the Miho with the artifact. So let's go ahead and drop. So I think it was 26k, right? 26k. Oh, no, I didn't want to kill him. I was supposed to kill him. I was supposed to beat the, the. Okay, whatever. I figured I might as well just include the Speed Siege videos, so just enjoy them, because they're pretty fast. Well, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. So I'll see you in the next video. Again, the runes are the following. For those who really want to see like the efficiency of the runes, again, slowly at the end of the video, I will show you. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> using a blue rune, but it makes complete sense because flat attack and speed and the accuracy innate. Uh, here we go. This is a hero rune, 22 plus 5, 11 plus 10, pretty good. This one doesn't make too much sense because I really don't need all this accuracy from my League Bleed because he's already capped with the passive, so 50 is all I need. And then the focus runes, they're like, they're like quad rolls, but like 32 quad rolls are a little bit on the lower side. But we quad rolled it. This one's pretty good with the fly attack as well with the max speed. So there is, is, along with his artifacts, right here, and right here. So thanks guys, and see you in the next episode.